Hello everyone, welcome to the first video covering my latest asset, the combat component. This video is a simple overview of the asset as a whole and tutorials will be linked below. This asset was designed to be an easy way to get functional prototype third person combat added to any existing project. I find myself wanting to try making quick prototypes using marketplace assets that have great locomotion logic, but they typically don't have combat added. On the other hand, there may be great combat assets, but they may not have the best mobility. Not having a good in-between, I figure I'd make a combat asset that you can add to any of the cool locomotion assets out there. In short, you can add this component to your character and you can immediately start picking up weapons that deal damage to any actor that has the engine damage logic set up. Right off the bat, I have documentation for integrating this with a default third person project, the advanced locomotion system, the AI behavior toolkit, and the game animation sample. This currently includes two types of equipable weapons, melee and ranged, which have several generic presets, such as a two-handed sword, fists, pistols, rifles, sword and shield, and a throwable grenade. Some basic locomotion and strafing is included along with a dash and strafe dashing. You you can also switch camera shoulders and modify the settings. Lastly, there is basic UI that you can easily turn off within the component. I want to state that although I strive to provide good animations, I specialize in game logic. So these are really just placeholder animations for you to swap out with your own that are tailored to specific weapons. I'll still do my best to continue improving mine, but that's not a priority or focus of this asset. So please keep that in mind if animations are what you're looking for. Once you have everything set up, you can begin messing with the settings in the component, like the weapons the player should start with, whether or not to equip them on begin play, getting infinite ammo, reloads, etc. There are also variables here specifically made to help with integration. For example, if you're integrating this with the advanced locomotion system, it has aim offset logic already added, while mine does too. So if you're aiming and looking up and down, you're going to get this extreme rotation of the character because ALS and my asset are rotating them. Instead of having to unplug nodes in the linked atom graph, all you have to do is set this bool to false and now it ignores my logic and just uses the ALS's rotation. As mentioned, this asset comes with several weapon presets and their own set of variables that you can adjust. Each weapon has combat ready and relaxed idle states. The melee weapons include a basic combo system where each attack points directly to another if the player presses the attack input during the specified window. There's added logic for executing specific attacks in the air while blocking and even a secondary attack button. Ranged weapons have the same variables but use the structure a bit different as you're typically just playing the same shooting animation with an option to melee. I've been working on this asset for about five to six months, believe it or not, but it's still got a lot of stuff that I want to add and eventually make sleeker, but I haven't spent too much time polishing things because I'm not sure what is and isn't set in stone yet. With that in mind, along with the animations not being perfect, I plan to keep this asset on the lower end until I feel it reaches a point in production that I would consider game ready. That's all I got though. If you have questions, please feel free to reach out. I'll see you in the next one.